Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you some awesome homeschool stuff like books and games and supplies that I got from Amazon, the homeschool store, a place called Ollie's. I think that's it, stick around. Welcome to the channel. My name is Morgan here at the Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here in this space, guys. I hope that while you're here, you find everything that you need, love, and enjoy right here on the channel. If you haven't done so already, go ahead, click that subscribe button so that you do not miss any of the videos uploaded on the channel. If you've been with me before, welcome back. I'm excited because I love doing these types of videos and just sharing what I was able to find, what I was seeking, our plans, things like that. Um, I am in the process of planning for the next school year, so I'm really trying to find supplies and things that I know that we're going to need or things that will enhance our um, curriculum plans and our learning within our home. So I'm really a focused shopper, um, just with anything. A lot of times I'm not really just kind of browsing and generalizing for things. I have specific things that I'm looking for and I go out and grab those. That is with anything, whether it's homeschool, clothes, groceries, whatever it is. <laughs> so a lot of these things that I have are specifically geared towards something that we will be doing in the near future. I did kind of pick up a few things that I just thought would be really interesting for my girls, but they're still kind of like geared towards something that they are interested in. I have things here from Amazon, the homeschool store that I was able to visit. I will tell you all about that, along with a store called Ollie's, which is like just a big generalized discount store. <laughs> um, I also got a couple of things from Mardell's off of their clearance rack. So I'm just gonna hop right into it. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is books. So. The first book I picked up was Who Were the Tuskegee Airmen? We are going to be doing a flight unit study coming up really soon. Um, so I thought I would grab this book. I also have tons of other flight books as well already here, but I thought this would be a good one to add in our African-American history to our unit studies. If you're not aware, I used to do unit studies all the time. All last year we did unit studies. Some of them I put together on my own and others we used were uh, gather around. And we're missing that. We're really missing the unit study feel. So once we finish the exploring countries and cultures, which we are still really loving, we're gonna hop into some unit studies and I am excited to have them all planned out and ready to go. So another one, this is based on a unit study that we will be doing is the DK weather book and it's all about weather. Now we will not get to this unit study until next spring, however, I am a planner and I want it to have it ready and available for us when that time comes. My girls have been asking to do a weather unit study for probably a year now and we did not get to it last year because we decided in the spring that we were going to go into um, plants so we didn't do weather. But we're gonna do weather next spring. Another weather book that I picked up is All About Weather. Super, super cute book. It's really geared toward younger children, um, which I'm excited about because my baby girl is going to love, love, love it. Um, but it just talks about the different seasons and it is um, all about just like information about the different seasons and how they change and why they change and some of the different things that go on in those seasons. Super cute. This is another one all about weather. It says the meteorologist in me and this little girl is learning that she can be anything that she wants to be. Her idol female is a meteorologist and she has all of these boys telling her that she can't do it. But we all know we can do anything. Anyone in this world can do anything when you put your mind to it. So this one's really cool. It has lots of um, meteorology facts in it as well. This one, another weather book is When the Storm Comes. Now this book I'm excited about. I read through it, I'm like, oh my goodness. It tells about all of the different things that go on during a storm. So not just the storm itself, but like where the animals go, what happens with the trees, what do people do, what's the end result of when the storms are gone and cleaning up, what the birds do, what the animals within the oceans do, it is a really cool book. I did good picking this one. Um, I actually originally just checked it out from the library and read it and I'm like, no, this is a buy, like a must have. So interesting information that I just didn't think about. I've never really honed in on what rabbits or squirrels or possums or skunks, what they do during storms. So this book tells us. This one is not storm related, but it is a student thesaurus scholastics book. 
I was looking for a thesaurus that was geared towards my younger children um, because a lot of the ones that are out there are a little more mature for my girls and we are about to have a fifth, fourth and kindergartner. This book is perfect. It may not have all of the words, but it does have some down here just in case it doesn't for the girls to be able to reference. And it's not just a picture thesaurus. I also found lots of those and I did not want just a thesaurus that had tons of pictures and things like that. I wanted words. I wanted them to be able to grab words. <laughs> okay, another book that is all about gardening. I have like a complete setup here, it's crazy. Um, about gardening is, this one is Harlem Grown. And this is about a young girl who plants a garden within her community in Harlem and how it just changes the community. And we are embarking on our garden. Yes, we probably should have planted things a little bit earlier or done some things inside, which we are gonna do this week. Um, but our temperatures are been crazy. Like today we're 50 degrees and yesterday we were 80. So I don't know if our plants that we would have planted would survive, but we're excited to get started on our garden again this year. And another one, because we will be doing some more studies on animals this upcoming school year, I decided to grab the DK Life Cycles. Anything DK is a win in my house. We have human body, planes. I mean, I, I can't even think of all the DK books that we have, but we have a ton of DK books and I love them. If you are not a DK fan, why? Why are you not? <laughs> Explain that to me. But this book is awesome super colorful too i was like immediately drawn to it so that is what i have from amazon that's it those are the books that i grabbed from amazon here are additional books that i grabbed um this one came from mardell and this is the tiny truths um illustrated bible i grabbed this to use with my younger daughter now my older daughters will also enjoy this one as well this is an old I say an old book, a very popular book. I had just never grabbed it because I'm so particular and we have lots of um, younger study books, but they're really more based on like science. Whereas these talks about the different stories of the Bible and it was on clearance at Mardell for, I believe it was $5. So I had to grab it. There are two additional books that are by the same publisher and this um, type of book. So go check those out. One of them is new, recently just came out. I can't remember the name of it, but I have my eyes on that one too. Okay, here are some books that I picked up from Ollie's. Here is one. This is How High Is Heaven? And this, actually, no, my mother-in-law grabbed this for us because I was trying to figure out how to explain death to my youngest daughter. And she grabbed this book and had it sent to us. A really nice book about death and how to explain it to younger children. And it's not that, you know, covering it up and it, it's really good and to the point, but in a very gentle, I was trying to open the pages, but in a very gentle way to explain to a younger child. We really did enjoy reading this book. Okay, here are the books that I picked up from Ollie's. Did I say Ollie's is a discount store? I'm not sure where it's located. They just popped up in our city a couple of years ago. I don't go in there often, but something just said, go in there and check out and see what type of books they have. So I was interested in The Secret Garden and I wanna do it as a read aloud. We may do it this summer, but I found this one at Ollie's and it comes in this case right here. So a hardcover book, it was $7. That's a win for me. Um, I'm excited about it. I have never read <laughs> The Secret Garden, not at all. Don't judge me. I'm really not a classical book reader, but I'm getting there because of my children. I feel like it's important for them. And then since we are doing a flight unit study, I also found at Ollie, this is Read and Build Flying Machines. And it is one of those books that has all of the little parts in it where you can build different things. Let me go to that page here. So here, there's little pop outs here for you to be able to build. And then here's some more pop outs as well. So we are going to do this. This was $4.99, awesome. It says regular price was $16.99. And I actually had saw this, I saw this on Amazon first, 
before I went into Ollie's. And when I got to Ollie's, I immediately recognized it. And I'm like, let me grab it. So $16.99 versus $4.99. That is an amazing deal. Ollie's has really low prices. So I love that. Another book I found was Fresh Princess. Not really sure exactly what it's about, but it was looked cute on the front. Mallory was attracted to it, so I thought I would grab it. So it says, and it says, Fresh Princess is back, and she is super excited, but also super nervous for the first day at her brand new school. When Destiny arrives, everything is bigger than she imagined and the uniform is less than special on top of that she doesn't have a thing and it seems like all the other kids do so far school is not as fresh as she had hoped but with her signature smarts and creativity fresh princess discovers that standing out is always a trend and quickly makes her mark so here we are sounds interesting this one was $3.99 and it's a hardcover here I picked up, do I have to wear a coat? This is a journey through seasons. I thought I would grab this because I have some children who are always complaining about putting on a coat, even when it's super cold outside. So it goes through the different seasons and it helps explain what they are to put on and why, um, different things that go on during the seasons. Pretty cool book, hardcover book. And it was also $3.99. This one is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. I know lots of people know about that. It's the true story of a boy whose great idea and perseverance lift up his home and inspired the world. Awesome. And it was also $3.99. Grace Goes to Washington. Here we will be learning and we're currently my oldest daughter is learning about like us government and things like that she was really interested in it so i thought i would grab this book as well um and it basically goes through different steps it takes her her journey through washington and what that means and what the white house looks like and the oval office all of those different types of things checks and balances talks about that so it puts it in a cute little story form this book was 2.99 at ollie's okay and the last book that I picked up is Carl and the Meaning of Life. It is about a worm. <laughs> I thought this would be perfect since we are starting gardening. Um, but here it is. It says he spends his happily days digging, tunneling, turning dirt into soil until one day when a field mouse asks him why. Carl doesn't know why he does what he does, but now he needs to find out. So he stops his tunneling and goes to search for an answer, asking one animal after another. On his journey, Carl discovers that the smallest creatures can answer life's biggest questions and that their actions can touch us all. I just loved that. I thought it was an awesome storyline to the book. Now, I have not read it yet, but I thought it was really cool. This one was $3.99. Okay, that is my book stack. Now I'm going to go on to games and like science experiments. The first game that I picked up in the fall, we will be studying the United States, all of the states and their capitals and anything that we can find associated with them. So I grabbed Scramble States of America game. And we are just gonna play this game. So it says, quick, find a state that ends in a letter A. Now find one that borders Tennessee. Have fun learning about the United States in a madcap game of observation and quick reflexes. Collect state cards by watching them a, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Collect state cards by matching them to a scramble challenge or go the distance and find a state's closest neighbor. Win the most cards and call yourself the head of states. This is the deluxe edition, features new art, new challenges, and a copy of Scramble of the States America book. So contents, it has six cards, 50 state cards, uh, four US maps, and the book, and then the rules to play. So we are going to have fun learning about the United States in the form of a game as well. The next one that I picked up, this is a fun with magnets. We're going to be doing some information on magnetism 
and my oldest daughter has been into magnets for a while now so I grabbed this little kit off of here and it talks about how magnets work magnets have a way have always intrigued people because of their invisible force field around them kids and adults wonder how do they work well this kit you can learn about magnets how they work and how to make things with them the kit is full of simple yet eye-opening experiments and magnetic fun for ages four plus I'm excited to hop into this. There are 14 experiments within this box and everything you need is provided in here. The last thing that I picked up in the science experiment section is Discover Surprise. This is a science experiment uh, kit for ages three plus. It has, I believe, 30 science experiments within here. Everything that you need or things that are within your household. I found this on Amazon for about 20 or $25, not bad at all. So I'm excited. We're going to just dive into various science experiments as we go through our science curriculum throughout the school year. Some of the last things that I picked up were from the homeschool store. I am not going to share with you curriculum that I picked up from the homeschool store, although I did grab some, but I'm going to share with you manipulatives. I'll share curriculum with you when I do my curriculum videos coming up in a couple weeks. The first thing I grabbed was a base 10 set because my middle baby girl really likes using her hands for math. So I've been looking at these base 10 sets on Amazon and they're super expensive. Now one thing I love about this homeschool store is that when you go in and buy things, it's based on consignment. So for example, I go in and I say, here, can you sell these items for me? Once they sell, I get a percentage of what's sold. The store gets the other percentage of that. Essentially what you're doing when you buy from this homeschool store is you are blessing another home. You're helping them be able to continue their homeschool journey and buy some of the things that they need. That I love because to me, that is one of the many definitions of community. So I'm ex I was super excited to know that when we went into the store. So I found this block for the base 10 set and this cost me $2. Now on Amazon, the whole base 10 set is somewhere between 20 to $30, depending on the type of material. This is that really hard plastic. It's not paper or anything. And it's not styrofoam. It's not going to get torn up. I'm excited about that. The other part of it that I bought with it was here. These are the hundreds or excuse me, the 10 sticks. And then also the ones little individuals they're within here I'm not gonna take them out but in here and I bought these they weren't all sold together but I've got these two items here for about three dollars the last part of the base 10 set which are the hundreds here and I was able to get these for free because some amazing mama went in there and just dropped them off and said she did not want to consign them so I happened up on them they were sitting in a bin and didn't have a price on them and that is a giveaway a blessing for me so whoever that mama is thank you so much <laughs> okay another thing that I picked up for these little colored counters um, these were 99 cents and then the last thing that I picked up which was an awesome deal it is the learning resources liquid measuring set now you will find this set on Amazon or learning resources website for 30 to 40 dollars I was able to get this set with all of the contents that you see here. I was able to get it for $17. Awesome, awesome deal. I'm gonna show you what's in it. Lots of different pieces. But my oldest daughter had an opportunity within her Saxon curriculum to do measuring, and we did not have this. This would have come in handy and would have been awesome for us to be able to use. So I'm taking all the pieces apart, but you will see there's these two larger ones and then inside of those there are smaller ones so we have another size and this is the one quart then we have one pint and then bringing in the little is one cup this is awesome for measuring here is the half gallon and then the full gallon so that's one set part of it then the next one are your measuring cups here to use all of them so we have the eighth the fourth the third the half and the full cup then we have measuring spoons which is also the same eighth fourth half one oh one and a half and one there's two two halves in there but all of the measuring spoons and then we have these measuring cups so you have one cup 
two cups and four cups. All of this for $17. That was pretty awesome. So that is my homeschool haul for right now. I'll be honest, I probably won't have a ton of hauls coming up this year because I'm trying to prepare and really narrow down our budget. Um, I will leave time and money for just kind of random buys, but my hauls will be over the next couple of months and then that'll probably be it for the school year. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and stick around so you can see all of the goodies here. Curriculum will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll see you right back here at the Life with Tillman's for another video next time. Bye.